Good morning and happy Harness Your Hump Day. I'm Tom Harness, owner of Harness Digital Marketing, and we are here to get you pumped up and excited for this Wednesday, the middle of the week. Uh, how's everybody doing this morning? Uh, I'm on my first cup of coffee. Hopefully you're on your second or third. We got an exciting show today. Uh, I get a lot of questions about Instagram. And I know we focus a lot on Facebook and others, but our company, uh, my team and I, we work on multiple platforms, whether it's Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, Pinterest, whatever it is, we can consult and we can actually write content for those clients. But what a lot of questions you guys have had is Instagram. I don't understand it. I don't get it. Um, there's probably for most small to mid-sized businesses, you definitely need to be on two platforms. That is your Facebook business page, not your personal page, but your business page and Instagram. The reason why is mostly because of the audience and the reach that you can get. Good morning, Susan. Hopefully you're off to a wonderful morning as well. So there's three features of Instagram that I wanna talk about today with you. That is the story feature, hashtags, and IGTV. No ladies, don't get excited. It's not HGTV on Instagram. No, it is not, it is IGTV. Good morning, Trish. Hopefully you are off to a wonderful day too. And Andy, good morning to you as well. So if any of you have questions about Instagram while we're going through this, please post them and I will try to answer them. But right now we're gonna focus on those three features, uh, story feature, hashtag, and IGTV. So let's get started. All right, whether or not you're, com you're comfortable with Instagram, you probably know that there's a timeline. The timeline is what you're used to. You scroll, right? You post images and you use the cool little filters and they make you look like a professional photographer, right? Well, uh, there's other features that Instagram offer that can help boost your business or boost your brand or organization. The story feature. If you notice in the upper uh, left-hand corner, you have a picture of your profile picture with a little plus. That takes you into a screen that is portrait that you can either do video, you can take photos, or you can upload photos or video. Now, what I like to do is I like to upload photos and videos into the story. Now, the story feature on Instagram will then show as circles and across the top of all the people that have posted in stories. Now, stories is a game changer when it comes to reach, okay? People are stopping on Instagram scrolling and they're just going through and watching the stories, like a little snippet of, of, of animation. I don't know how old many of you are, but when I went to the mall as a kid, they had these little boxes. The boxes were really cool. They look like, like you're gonna get your photo in them, but they had little movies like Mighty Mouse and those little magpie guys, and you could put some money in and watch it. It's just a little, and it was a little snippet, very short, probably two, three minute little cartoons. These story features are very similar to that. Now, I don't use them personally or business-wise to tell a story, but that's the purpose of it, is to kind of tell a story from a beginning, a middle, and an end. I like to do little snapshots or snippets of what my day or what I'm doing in. And as far as business and branding, uh, or organiz organizations and branding, you're gonna wanna do the same thing. Just kind of tell a little bit of the story. Could even be like the beginning, the middle, and the end of the day. But it's real simple and it's meant to connect. The reach on this is probably, uh, I'm guessing because it's all over the place depending on your brand, it's gonna be at least probably 50% to 60% higher on posting content on stories than just in the timeline. Now, you still need to post in the timeline, but now the real focus is make sure you put stuff consistently in the story feature. They've got stickers, they've got engaging things. Um, you might see on other platforms where there's little bubbles ahead and it'll tell you what exclamate or what uh, um, Disney character you are. I almost said what exclamation mark you are, but what punctuation you are. There's really unique different filters that you can use on this as well. Uh, if you're familiar with Snapchat, it's kind of the same thing. All right. So story features, check it out, uh, just play around with it with a little bit, but then start to kind of sell your brand on there as well. All right, number two is hashtags. Hashtags have been around forever. Uh, for those of us that are a little bit older, we call them pound signs as well. Um, there's a lot of different ways that this can be used. Um, today, I'm gonna kind of focus on 
uh, Instagram as far as getting reach. So hashtags with Instagram are absolutely crucial. Okay, they're absolutely crucial. Now, hashtags can be two things. They can, well, actually, they could be three. Let me correct myself. One, they can be your own branded hashtag. One or two things that you tag that anybody can click on and follow and see your content if they're if they're searching for you. In the past, when I've done classes or we've done videos on hashtags, we've talked about them being like going to the library and you had the Dewey Decimal System and you knew exactly where you were going to go. Uh, so. Hashtags kind of do that. They tag your content so people, when they look for specific things, they can go to. Now, when you have your one branded hashtag, that's great. And you need to use that consistently and it's like a website address. Don't change them up, don't get creative. That's the one that everybody can go to and search and that's what you'll, you'll find, all your content. Now, the second use for hashtags are national national hashtags so maybe you sell your business sell your product or your service nationally and you want to grow nationally start looking at big hashtags now what i mean by big hashtags are super bowl hashtags right when your business if you want to follow along and get your stuff in front of like the super bowl people and tv shows and season finales what hashtag are they using when you're posting content uh, and please make sure it's relevant to them add that hashtag right? The Doritos one. I always think of the Doritos one. Add that hashtag to your content. Now you're going to be competing with everybody else going through that through there, but at least hopefully someone will see your content and it'll start to trigger uh, your brand in their, in their mind and it'll come to fruition with them when they're looking for your service or product. So that's two. Third hashtag to really consider are local or regional. Now this is the money maker right here. People think hashtags are novelty. No, they're strategic. They have to be strategic. The local regional hashtags are probably your audience. And that's what most mom and pop uh, organizations will use because it's going to give them the instant return on an investment, meaning that you're going to get in front of your local regional audience to bring them in or to sell your brand. So what are some local or regional ones when you have local concerts? When you have local businesses, when if you're by a, a university, a college, they have hashtags. Um, whatever it is, research your local hashtags and utilize those. Now, please, please, please use hashtags responsibly. Um, if you're just trying to get in front of everybody, mm, it's probably not going to work and it might backfire. No, if you remember last week I talked about know your audience or who is your audience, use that to help you understand what hashtags you want to go for. Your product or service is not necessarily for everybody. Be known for something and the rest will follow. Um, so hashtags also, Instagram, that's all over the place. It's recommended to use 20 to 25 hashtags. You can easily just create a spreadsheet or a note, have them in there, copy and paste those in. Uh, but hashtags will help you grow your page and help you grow it uh, with the right audience. All right, number three. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, IGTV, not HGTV. So IGTV is a uh, website platform that you can go to and it's also an individual app that you can download separate from Instagram. And what this is, is pretty much think of it as, as a TV station, IGTV. It's just, you go there, you post videos, you go live, you have content. And that's what it is. You have your own channel, right? So again, you're not having to hold back anything on, on or spend money on uh, getting on the TV. You've got a platform in front of you that gives that to you. That's what's amazing about any type of live, uh, live FaceTime, live Instagram. It gives you a platform that you can grow. Everybody wants to be instantly famous. Well, you've got to start and you've got to build a platform. And it's okay to pivot as you go. But IGTV... Game changer, a um, lot of good content on there. It lets you search for videos and it's only video. It's it. So they've separated it. Highly recommend those, uh, those of you that are really good or looking to jumpstart your, uh, your, your business or organization, get on IGTV. Um, you can also upload video that you already have on your phone or your computer. That's what's nice about this. You can work on IGTV on your computer. Create your show, create your tips, sell your service, sell your product, um, let people know about your organization or brand. 
IGTV, check it out. Um, so three things you need to be looking for if, if you are Instagramming. I should have put a little exclamation park at the end. Instagramming, not Instagramming. Uh, it sounds much more cool. One, use the story feature. Use it today. Use it now. Number two, be strategic with your hashtags. Number three, start utilizing IGTV. Those are my tips. Let's see what we got here from the crew. All right, I already told them shiplap. All right, Josh, good morning. Sorry I missed your uh, veteran Zoom, think Zoom uh, conference call video last night. I'm sure it was amazing. Andrew, good morning. Hopefully you have a wonderful day and you are feeling better. Joe, hashtag pound sign, love it. <laughs> uh, Jason, good morning, sir. Hashtag community strong, love it. Um, good morning, Mark. Uh, I definitely will go back and repost it to this, re-listen re to this, absolutely. If you have any questions, Mark, let us know. Fred, good morning. Um, listen, I love giving shout outs to people because uh, they do so much for me. And Fred, uh, Fred is my alter ego. He is my professional ego where I have my crazy suits, which is me and my crazy ego. Uh, uh, he's got my, my, my professional one. So, uh, if you are ever in the need of a suit or just some great conversation and a man that is absolutely fun to talk to and be with, head over to Dillard's man. Uh, he will also let you know when there's good deals too. Uh, but, uh, hopefully we'll get back into suit season, uh, Fred, but there's really no reason for me to put on a suit. Uh, I wore one twice last week and it blew my mind. I hadn't been one in a while and it looks like I've lost uh, a little more weight than I thought over the over COVID. So might need to be back in soon to get me a suit that actually fits a little bit better. Um, Bobby Bitterman, didn't expect the content that uses that, didn't expect the content that uses that one. I don't know if I understand that question, Bobby, but if you clarify that, I might be able to answer that. Either way, I want everybody to know um, on Monday nights, Monday evenings, uh, our very own Crystal Davis, has Marketing Makeup Monday. Please check those out. There's a playlist that you can go back into uh, Harness Digital Marketing and watch, and she's got great tips uh, for women. Guys, you can step up the game. As you can see, I don't wear makeup. I look like this. Um, Fred, yeah, I'm gonna be honest, Fred, it did. I felt, it's a crazy when you put on a suit, just, it's like a Superman, right? That's, I think that's why I like my crazy suits too, because it fits my personality better, but yeah. You, you stand up a little bit more, you have more confidence. Uh, and you know, when you match stuff together, it, it's really nice too. So I always appreciate all your, uh, your help. But yes, it felt good. So I hope everybody goes and checks out Fred at Dillard's. Um, man, he's been hooking me up for, for years now. But also, this today, if you are listening, uh, please welcome in the comments, uh, or give a warm, not shouldn't say welcome, congratulations. Today is Crystal Davis's one year anniversary. She survived one year with this guy, with Lindsay, with our team, with Michelle. She survived one whole year. Can you believe that? Uh, and that young lady has grown and really just impressed me. Uh, you know, it's this is a hard business and industry to get into. Uh, and she she is resilient and she keeps plugging away. So we're very happy. We got a nice little gift for her. Oh, maybe I shouldn't supposed to say that. Don't tell anybody. Uh, but either way, uh, give her a warm one year. Congratulation. Also, those of you that support veterans uh, are our veterans, veteran owned business, have veteran events. Please head over to the Stars and Stripes SI group page. Uh, Harness Digital Marketing has partnered with Withers Broadcasting and Dana Communications to form this group to let everybody know throughout Southern Illinois what opportunities there are for veterans. 100%, we don't, uh, I don't like any of the, uh, no political, no nothing. We support and we promote veterans. Love seeing when our kids go off and join the military. So anything veteran related connected, go there, put it in there. Let's highlight our wonderful region and the veterans. Uh, today, got a new shirt from Grunt Style. Uh, this is the oath that all veterans, say veterans, all military participants say when they enlist in the military. I uh, want to give a big thank you to them, and I always support them. I love their shirts. All right, um, let's see what we got here. Joe Gomez, no worries, buddy, no worries. It's an awesome day to be awesome. Amen, brother. Uh, and uh, oh, congratulations! Yes, thank you, Gloria. 
Uh, yeah, Gloria, she probably does deserve uh, a medal. I'm not going to lie. She probably does. <laughs> All right, let's get on to events. August 14th, coming up this week, A Day with Tipa Snow, Dementia Educator and Advocate. This is a free conference to attend. There's a morning session and an afternoon session. This is for health care, for families, for um, memory care, for fire, police, EMT. These sessions are designed specifically for her. She is world renowned. She is fun. I compared her to, I said, if you want a drill sergeant meets Robin Williams, you get it. So if that alone really excites you, you need to check this out. And it's for anybody that has any type of interaction, direct or indirect, with uh, dementia patients. We're gonna be talking about how to cope with dementia during COVID-19, the effects of social isolation. There's other great topics, but we had her last year. She's amazing. We were gonna bring her back, but with everything going on, we had to move this into a Zoom uh, conference. It's gonna be great. We've already got over 100 people registered to attend. It's gonna be a lot of fun and we can't wait. And we hope that you will join us and spread the word for us as well. August 16th, my buddy Sam uh, Kunert over at Nubability is having a four-person golf scramble. You can get more details at the link below. Uh, and then on Saturday, September 5th, Joe, who's in here or was watching, uh, Joe's uh, kind of putting together the Running of the Vines. It's a 30-mile relay. Starts in Alto Pass. If you want more uh, information on that, the link is also in the comments section below. All right, those are some of the events coming up. And then we have uh, Leaf Food Hub, my friend Liz Durance. Uh, it's a local uh, consortium. It's a local group that actually uh, puts together farmer's market food, and you can order online and have pickup spots. It's an amazing, amazing opportunity. There are pork, chicken, beef, turkey, duck, bison, eggs, honey, bread and bagels, goat milk, cheese, mushrooms, herbs, plant starts, coffee, jams, jellies and syrups, pasta, vegetables, and more. I'm getting better at that. Contact Liz Durans at leaffoodhub.com uh, and also you can reach her at 618-924-1290. Eat healthy, be healthy, and everybody, as we uh, wrap up today's Harness Your Hump Day, I just want to let you know, please be the person that you go out into the world and, and give somebody a reason to smile. And as always, if you need uh, any digital marketing services, reach out to my team and I at Harness Digital Marketing where we can hashtag... Turn the light bulb on for your business or organization. Everybody have a wonderful day. Be safe. And now I can't close. Oh, there we go. Lost my remote. Well, until I get my, my mouse back, this is going to be an extended edition. So, uh, holler, Joe. Yes, Gloria, have a great day. This is funny. I can't get my, my mouse to work, so I can't close out. <laughs> oh, technology. Ah, uh, lost my lost my mouse. Who would ever thought you could? All right, everybody, have a great one.